Welcome back, friends. It's a fall tradition that everyone loves. There are plenty of activities for the whole family and German-inspired food that will have you dance in a polka and your later hosen here to go over all the details of this year's Oktoberfest. We have Kim Thompson of Christ the King School and John Herzog with the Oktoberfest Entertainment Committee. Thank you both for being here. Well, thanks for having Those us. Those are great morning. titles. I mean, <laughs> I love that. The, the entertainment committee. Oh, yeah. that's, that's that's where you want to be, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty much my uh, my role. Uh, everywhere I'd go, I'm I'm Mr. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. There you go. Uh, guys, this is a great event, and we're talking about a 30-year success story here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Yes, it's been going strong for really over 35 years. Um, wow. and it's grown morphed into the event that it is today. Very good. Um, lots of fun for family and, and kids are welcome. It's in the heart of Chevy Chase. Well, we know that a lot of our friends and neighbors have gone, but for the few out there that may not have, <laughs> have participated yet, paint a picture for us. What, is, what does this event look like? We have uh, lots of activities for children, inflatables, kids games, uh, kids crafts, mm -hmm. and then lots of fun things for the adults as well. Okay. Uh, we have bingo and blackjack. Saw and that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, a little blackjack. And nice. of course, our entertainment. Yeah, John, you've got some, uh, some, some good names coming in this year, don't you? Yeah, we, we uh, traditionally like to go as big as we can. and. Um, uh, uh, I work with a partner, Ryan Schneider, who uh, is really, really good in, in reaching out to some of the national acts and bringing them into town. And over the years, it's grown into kind of a, a premier gig for a certain level level of band. You know, Lexington is right on the way to and from a lot of larger cities. Right. So we're very fortunate to have some bands, usually this time of year, that are out on the road that we can okay. bring on for, for a good set so with us. So that's how it goes. Oh, they mm -hmm. say we, yeah. we'll pick up the Oktoberfest in Lexington. Well, yeah, yeah. And that, it, but it's become much more than that now. Now we actually have bands calling us trying to get on. For, Excellent. For example, this year on, on Friday night, we have the Gin Blossoms, <laughs> which had wow. uh, uh, multiple hits throughout yeah. the, the 90s and, big, and big 2000s. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then on Friday, a band called Fastball out of Texas, who uh -huh. had also uh, a couple of strong hits in, in the in the late 90s, early 2000s. And what we like to do is get bands that have never actually stopped being a band, that like okay. to continue touring and are playing shows. And, nice. and, and um, you know, this benefits them as well to, to reach an audience. It's a uh, even though there's usually four or five thousand people, it's it still is a rather intimate setting. They're used to sure. playing in larger venues, so well, great for the band and great for us too Absolutely. To, to get close yep. to some of our mm -hmm. our favorites. Yeah, and, and then uh, we and know throughout, these the, names. throughout the day, we have local acts that that play. Um, got a young band playing on Friday night that everybody should definitely come early and see, called Johnny Conqueroo. Mm -hmm. um, and then on on Saturday, we have a young lady named Olivia Fay who will be starting things out. Wow! And she's uh, she's actually um, involved in the parish and and. Uh, is in Nashville now, and, and we'll we'll be hearing a lot from her. In yeah, the I've I've actually heard a little buzz about her already. Mm -hmm. So this is fantastic. So we're talking about uh, top-notch entertainment, great events for the kids, for the whole family, and then layer that awesome German food on top of mm -hmm. it. That's Absolutely. right. What a great event. Exactly right. Okay, so give us the where's and when's. We've got the uh, information on the screen there for folks. Uh, this is just a wonderful, wonderful part of our community, and. Kind of, you know, kind of ushering in fall, isn't it? Don't people say that it doesn't really feel like fall until Oktoberfest kind of kicks off? That's true. It's a little early this year, but everybody enjoys fall. Yeah. So we wanted to bring it on a little earlier. That's right. Very and we've good. added um, October Dash, which is a 3K, ah, and it's okay. in the neighborhood, in the Chevy Chase neighborhood. Wonderful. So bring uh, children, strollers, um, you know, adults. It's a great, fun family event. Information about the uh, Dash right there. Guys, well, we appreciate it. We know it takes a lot of work. We know it takes a village to put these things <laughs> together. It does. A lot of volunteers. Yeah. yeah. So and then they've done a great job. Everybody's worked really hard. Just Fantastic. started putting the tents up yesterday. So yes. a special nod to those guys. That, absolutely. Well, we're going to do our part. We're going to show up and we're going to eat. All and, right. And have a great time. Hey, that's and all we have. Some German beer. Some <laughs> Wonderful. We appreciate it, guys. We'll see you down there. Okay. All right. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you. Back in just a second.